Good evening, and for the first time in a long time, numbers came out today on unemployment, real numbers that made people take notice, like one of the largest monthly increases in jobs in four years, 200,000 added for the month. And here's a big number. The measure of it all, the unemployment rate, is now at a three-year low, 8.5% with job gains up across the U.S. economy. And it's where we begin the broadcast tonight with NBC's Tom Costello at one of the construction projects fueling these numbers. Happens to be in suburban Virginia tonight. Tom, good evening. Hi, Brian. 1,600 people work on this project, building a rail line from D.C. out to Dulles Airport. Warm weather across the country really boosted construction jobs nationwide, but that was not the biggest area of growth. The question now, though, can this employment picture last? For a country still struggling to climb out of the Great Recession of 2008, welcome news. Those 200,000 new jobs added in December were the sixth month in a row of at least 100,000 new jobs created. And that unemployment rate surprisingly ticked down from 8.7% in November, higher than first thought, to 8.5% in December. A lot of families are still having a tough time. A lot of small businesses are still uh, having a tough time. But we're starting to rebound. We're moving in the right direction. What kind of jobs were added? 23,000 were in manufacturing, another 23,000 in health care. 50,000 came in transportation and warehousing. Retailers added 28,000 jobs, and construction added 17,000 in a warmer-than-expected December. While the government tries to account for seasonal hiring during the holidays, the question is how many retail, warehousing, and courier jobs only lasted for a few weeks. There's still a very uneven recovery out there. The good news is this is a step in the right direction, but it's only a step, not a sprint. Republicans insist the White House should take no credit. These numbers are in spite of all of us uh, uh, and really bad behavior in Washington. Again, the inability to deal with the things that all of us know we need to deal with. But in Cleveland, Andy Halko's small web design and marketing business in Sibia has suddenly taken off. We've hired about four people in the last 12 months. Uh, we're looking to bring on another four immediately. Among his new hires, Anna Edwards. I think that our generation is going to learn to be pretty resilient because of it. all of my friends, everyone I know is kind of in the same boat. We're all kind of fighting the same struggle. Importantly, the number of people participating in the labor force has dropped off as people either gave up looking for a job, retired early or went to school. Fewer people looking for a job helped drive the unemployment rate down. Just to make up for the 6 million fewer jobs that exist today compared to the end of 2007, economists say we would need to continue growing at this pace for at least the next three years. But, of course, Brian, this economy still has a lot of headwinds that we're facing. Back to you. Tom Costello along what's about to be the new Dulles line. Tom, thanks.